So I uh, changed the manifold on the solar heater. I added a second fan. So now I, uh, instead of taking that little house fan that I had before, I actually have a, uh, a duct fan wired in and it's piped with PVC into a new manifold that I built. And uh, <clears throat> it's 10.30 right now in Wisconsin and we're still blowing 130 degree heat right now. This, uh, I took some advice from an engineer, or I'm sorry, an architect that I met online, and he helped me design this new, this new manifold. This is actually a three-part piece. So there's two pieces of wood uh, sandwiched in between insulation. This is just, um, weather stripping to seal good. This is actually, uh, stripping that you'd use to seal your garage the garage door floor. I found it worked really well just to make sure that the air was nice and tight as you close this window because I'm not the greatest craftsman when it comes to wood so I don't think I cut it exactly right but it all works out. Um, one thing I did notice if you're gonna build a window manifold my wife noticed that right here the air will actually seep through so I just took these terry cloths and stuffed them down in here to seal the air gap and it's it's really nice now this window is actually frosting in between so you'll be able to notice that pretty quick but uh, the new manifold last night it was like negative five and this wood never got cold to the touch the old wood was very cold when you touched it so this is sealed really well I did a, uh, a test just to see if I could uh, see any smoke from a candle wisp blow into the house for air gaps and this is working much better I think the uh, heater overall is actually performing really well over the winter time it's uh, about 10 11 degrees right now and as you can see it's really snowy if I can get my door open I want to show you something cool So the heater turned on just fine this morning around uh, 9 o'clock and it's uh, it's holding up really well over the winter time. The, uh, the high heat caulk that I use, this red stuff, I actually don't recommend anybody using that. Just use the clear silicone. You can see I added that on the outer side and it sealed much better. This uh, red stuff is actually, I don't think, designed to freeze. I thought it was just going to need to hold temp for heat, not, not coldness. Anyhow, everything else is holding up really well. Now, one thing real interesting is this thing turned on, and it's not even at its full efficiency because it's buried with snow right now. So I'm just going to clean this off. So <clears throat> we'll see if it gets any hotter today now. But that's the uh, the solar heater update. It's been working really well. It's been in service for I think three months now, and I haven't had a single issue with it. So a real simple design, about 300 bucks. If you want to try and create your own heat and you have any questions, just uh, let me know, and I'll be glad to try and help and help you design something for your house. And uh, look for me next year. I'm going to make a much bigger one to try and heat the entire house. So have a good day. Bye.